five for one Bestia back with the boogeyman. Okay, I have to make a choice between who I'm gonna save. Uh, but there was this battle that I chose so I could save both of them. Pressing the, but pressing the buttons doesn't do anything anymore. And it was a distance sound, so can I get out of the room? Yes, I can. So, what do I do about this, though? There was a distant sound, so... Lance, you're not gonna do anything? Don't take Lance. Um, take Lance along, so I guess. It'll be okay, okay so let's move out. Oh, he moves as fast now. Okay, so there was a distant sound somewhere, but... Where is the question? I haven't been here before. Wait, I'm not gonna... Go... I'm not gonna go there yet. Maybe I can backtrack somewhere. Um, there was a distant sound. Um... Oh! Is... Is that room right above the spikes? There's a table. Yep, this is the room right above the spikes. It has to be. Okay, uh, a large table made of wood. Move the table. Alright. Where am I gonna move the table, though? Whoa! Oh! You gonna lift Richard and drop Sophie? You really sure? If the spikes break the table... Uh... She won't be hurt. <gasps> oh! Then she will fall on the table! But why pressing the buttons makes it able to move the table? Okay, so... Oh, I can't save, so... I kind of want to see what happens if I let one die. Will I get an achievement or will I just be game over? Uh, curiosity kills the cat. I'm gonna let Richard... Okay, I'm gonna let Richard die. And if it just gives a game over, then he won't see it. But I want to know what happens. Uh, Sorry, Richard. I want to see what happens then. <laughs> Okay, just in case the game over, it doesn't give an actual achievement, so I have to save them. Okay, so I don't get an achievement for letting them die, I guess, but... Um, okay, so... It's not mandatory to save them, I can just leave them hanging. Ha, <laughs> ha, get, get the joke, because they're hanging and... Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm terrible at this. Be right back. Okay, I'm guessing that if you don't take Lance along, you won't be able to move the table because it's too heavy or something. I don't know why pressing all those Whoa. buttons makes it able so Shoot. that um, I can move the table. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna save both of them and then hopefully we can move on. Because I feel like if you skip all of them and don't save any of them or only save a few of them, you get a bad ending. Okay, so I need to lift Richard up. I'm sorry guys, you're gonna get scared. Okay, let's Lance, do this. Pull the lever when I say pull. Okay. Wait, what am I gonna do? There's a room full of spikes down a hole. The man you thought went down is nowhere to be seen. Oh, poor Sophie. Okay, do I need to pull both of them? A machine with a rope tied to it. It's redesigned such that pulling the lever will pull Sophie up. Activate the machine. I thought Lance was gonna pull at the same time! What? Okay, that was my bad. I thought Lance was gonna pull at the same time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's try this for real this time. Okay. Lance, pull the lever when I say pull. There we go. And then, do I need to talk to him? Nope, and I can't talk to him. Oh, what's here? Um. Wait. Hold on. A pull with a pulley attached. It's designed such that pulling level drop research. Okay, but can I talk to Lance? Because why doesn't he just pull? No? Okay, I can't interact. So, okay, let's do this thing. Hopefully, I will be able to make it this time. Let's do this. Activate machine. What? It says so it will pull Richard up! Why does he still die? Ugh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Damn it! Okay, let's try this for real, for real this time. What happens if I go to this side? <sighs> Nothing? No, I can't even interact with this. I pulled, it's designed such that pulling the level... Oh, will drop... Ri oh. Do nothing. I don't want to do that. I can't interact with this one either. So what do I do then? A machine with a rope tied to it is designed such that pulling level will pull Sophie up. And then he drops down. Oh. Oh. Sophie? Sophie? Sophie, I'm oh. going to lift Richard and drop you. No, please, okay. drop me. Please, don't put my dear daughter in danger. Quiet. 
Sophie, don't look down, okay? We'll be fine if you don't look down. You with me? No funny stuff. Why don't you explain it? Oh, yeah, well, maybe the boogeyman is listening. Don't cry, Sophie. I won't let you die. I won't even let you get hurt. I promise. So uh, believe me. And just don't move. Can you promise me that? Uh, okay. That's a good girl. Lance, are you ready? Yeah. What's gonna happen? Pull. Hey. Okay. Hopefully it... Okay, thanks God. Oh, he went down with her. Mr. Keith, are you okay, Mr. Keith? How about okay. you? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. But you, Mr. Keith? Glad to hear it. Sorry, little lady, but could you move it? Because it's going to be crushed to death. Okay. Okay, that's nice. He actually jumped with her, so he would f she would fall on top of him. That's nice. Oh, made it. Papa! So there we go. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> imagine so glad her run. <laughs> I'm glad to imagine her running too fast and they fall down again. <laughs> oh, that would be... Papa! <sighs> Papa, it was so scary. At least she made it out alive. Hey, you okay? I had no idea you were gonna... <laughs> well... Lance. How's my head look? Huh? Those spikes really grazed it. Wondered if they sheared my hair. Did I go bald? <laughs> That's <laughs> what he cares about. Don't worry. It's still plenty fluffy. Okay. Keith, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. Thanks God. Let's take this elsewhere. <sighs> Come with me. Okay, follow me. I'm gonna have a whole party here. Where am hey, I now? How are those wounds? Are you still hurting? Damn right I am. Alright. I guess it's a little better now. Where's Keith? Oh, hi. No weird traps in this room. No windows either. Just that one door in or out. Shouldn't uh, have to worry about that guy ambushing you. You should. I'll go look for the others. So you stay here. Don't leave this room under any circumstances. Keith, will you be alright? I don't better have a good feeling be about that. around a wounded man and a family. Yeah, okay. That's true, I guess. He's hey. gonna follow me. What? Didn't I just tell you to stay in there? Uh, what you said before. Whatever it was. What? About civil liberties groups. Mm-hmm. Did I say anything like that? Yeah. Don't play dumb. You. What do you know? Are you trying to threaten me? I just saved your goddamn life! I felt bad for the girl, no doubt. But you went about it all wrong. Sorry. What? I just can't approve of that. What? Wait, it's your what? policy not to photograph people. It's not quite accurate, is it? It's not that you won't. You can't. Since you don't listen to what you're told. You don't love scenery. You just hate people. What? Why do you know that? I didn't say anything about that. You research? You got your eye on me? Are you just some cop? You're not state. How the hell? Uh. And that other guy talked like he knew too. Uh, okay, I'm kind of confused now. What the hell is this? What do you guys know? Done talking. I don't understand. Whoa. Is that it becomes for you. His big head should be an easy target. <laughs> it will be justified self-defense. No tabloid stardom for you. If anyone, it'd be me. Okay. I guess. I suggest you come up with a quip for the press. The detective ordered me to say. <laughs> Uh, or are you more accustomed to being the press? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, LK. Whoa. Back in the room. You should follow their example instead of picking a fight with me. He just got owned! Achievement unlocked rescue mission 2. There's a sign, but I want to go back to them real quick. Hi. Everything okay? Hey, Mr. Keith? Where's Helena? I haven't found her yet. Uh, well, I have. I see. You know. Hi. Keith, I don't mean to cast doubt, but did Brendan and Stevie really? Uh, well, I yes. saw Brendan get killed, and his body was dropped into the basement. Aww. Stevie was alive by the time I got there, but it was too late. If Brendan, I mean, if he is still alive, he got decapitated. Sorry, but I've never met a guy who survived a beheading. Ugh, oh, man. Damn. Can I pull this X off the roof? Oh. My wrench is gone. Great. 
There's one bedroom in here. Whose bedroom was this? Okay, there's books in there. Uh, there's no water in it. Oh, there we go. No water in it. Uh, no water in it. Uh, nothing in them. Okay, let's just... Uh, there's water in it. There's water in it. Uh, I have a feeling I need that water. Because they specifically mentioned that there's no water everywhere. It seems to work fine. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Haha, <laughs> wasn't funny. Okay, let's move on. Save or fall on. And then continue my way. Oh, it said something. Now we're door. It's locked. And I have no items. Well, no active items. Only passive items. What? Right with monsters. I can't drop myself down. Jump over the hole. That's not gonna work. Or it is. I just uh, glitched through it. Uh, this door is open. Is that a key? Seems to be a real guillotine. The edge is rusty though. Oh, I thought it was a key. Someone is gonna- Someone is gonna get there. A painting of a woman holding a severed hat. A severed hat. There's a pl placard- Play card underneath. That is creepy. Ah, Jokanan. I kiss your lips. They had such a bitter taste. Was it the taste of blood? No, it must be the taste of love. As everyone says, love is bitter. That is totally not creepy. And these stairs are kind of annoying to walk down, but it doesn't matter. Okay. It has electricity. And there's a heart on here. It looks like a control panel. It's locked. There's a heart symbol on the cover. Yeah, if I'm gonna walk on that, I'm dead. So, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, had to. No. Oh. Too bad the deaths here don't give achievements. Kinda wanna get all the achievements, but I uh, know I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's move on. There's a heart there, so... I don't trust this at all. A saw hangs on the wall. Got a saw. Okay. A sledgehammer hangs on the wall. Got a sledgehammer. And then pressing the buttons doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Can I move down? It enlarge your iron door. It's locked and won't open. Not even with the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Nope. Uh, so maybe a sledgehammer for this. Breaking the door down with hammer would destroy the destroy panel inside too. Can I use the saw? No. There's a heart symbol on the cover. Oh, is it a defibrillator or whatever? Okay, so I can't use that. A defibrillator, whatever the AED thing to, um, you know what I mean. Um, can I use this to break it off or whatever? No? It doesn't seem like I can. Okay, uh, I can't do anything with that for now, so let's jump over the hole. There we go, glitch. And then, um... Oh yeah, this door was, uh, this was locked, right? Sledgehammer? Nope. Saw? Nope. Okay, so I'm at a loss here and I need to figure out how to do that. But I'll do that in the next one for now. So this was test with the Boogeyman. And I probably can't use this either for that. Nope. Okay, so this was test with the Boogeyman. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, if you like this video and want to see more, it would be great if you could support me on Patreon. Even $1 helps me out already if enough people do it. Thanks in advance!